We're going to have to go IFR because they're overcast in Springfield. Okay. Doesn't look like it here. <laughs> no, it's beautiful here. What they're doing with this plane over here. They're getting ready to go fly. He's training. Uh. He's just doing some training. This Ranger. That's just the name of the plane? Uh, probably, yeah. Most likely. One, seven. Remarks. Density altitude, 1,000. Rogers Executive Airport, Carter Field. Automated weather observation. One, six, zero, six, Zulu. Wind, zero, four, zero, at, zero, eight. Visibility, one, zero. Sky condition, clear. Temperature, one, one, Celsius. Dew point, zero, six, Celsius. Altimeter, three, zero, one, seven. Remarks, density altitude, one, thousand. Rogers ground, Cirrus 507, Romeo Whiskey. Cirrus 507, Romeo Whiskey, Rogers. Are ready to pick up our IFR to Springfield, please. Five zero seven Romeo Whiskey is clear Springfield Airport via the Rogers for departure then as five. Climb maintain three thousand. Expect five thousand one zero minutes after departure. Departure frequency one two six point six squawk five six seven five. Clear as filed via the Rogers for three thousand initially five thousand after ten minutes one twenty six point six and squawk in five six seven five seven Romeo Whiskey. 507 Romeo Whiskey, read back is correct. Wind 04011, altimeter 3017, advisory taxi. Copy all, and we're ready for taxi. 507 Romeo Whiskey, runway 2, taxi the Alpha. 2 the Alpha, 7 Romeo Whiskey, thanks. <clears throat> Alright, HSI is turning, parking brakes work. Two drivers set. Doors are latched. Caps is available. Your vents are off if you need them. No, I'm good. Thanks, though. Okay. Are set. Transponder code is in. Brand new oil change should should run pretty pretty cool today. RPM drop must not exceed 150. We usually see about 60 or 70, so that's good. Trim is set. Yeah, I didn't realize it. I, I just checked uh, a few minutes ago in Springfield. It's at 1,000 feet. R-I-F-R today. Still good to go there? Oh, yeah. I'll get an IFR landing. Absol good. Absolutely. Very much so. Look at the color on that, Cirrus. Orange and black and silver. Ready? There's a Mooney next to it. Oh, that plane in Bentonville? It had um, mechanical problems. Put it on the news this morning. Yeah, they didn't, um, well, they didn't recognize it fast enough to shut down fast enough, so they they rolled out too far before they aborted, and they ran out of runway. But thankfully, they didn't get in the air and had mechanical problems. Right. 
Well, one of the engines, I don't think, was making enough power or something. Yeah. Something was going on. Yeah. But it's hard because that's only a 5,000 foot runway. And right. when you're in a jet, the no, the go, no go decision is really far down the runway. And I right. guess they must have not recognized it early enough. And uh, by the time they shut down, they ran out of runway to slow down. Yeah. But they're all okay, so that's. Yeah, good. everybody's good. Looks good. This plane got a bath last time I flew. Flew in all that snow and rain. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. Still sparkly, so she's still pretty. Still shining. Five eighty one Springfield approach, Elsewinter three zero one eight. Roger that. I forgot to mention we're going sixty thousand to spoke. Roger. We're still not close enough to pick up their weather yet. So is that White Street that plane? Uh, no. That's an airliner going the other way. Oh. So this one's going across. Cross. Correction, leaving spoke. I don't see him over here, so he must not be close enough to be an issue. Probably uh, 3581. Probably 3581. After spoke, just going to maintain 10,000. At least four, four miles and, uh, to come out. 10,000 on board, 3581. Probably won't even see him. This guy, the white. The white one. The black one's probably so high, it doesn't matter. 15 right. Zero Sierra number four. It just looks like the white one's closer to us, like, not on the same level, but, like, we probably He's right over there, but he's about four miles away, so it's really hard to see, especially if he's over on top of those clouds with a uh, white airplane, you'll never find him. Never end up seeing him. just looks closer on the screen. Uh, right. Yeah, that's why I use those white rings. Oh, that's a that's a two mile ring. That's a four mile ring. So he's almost four miles behind us now, back uh, over there. So, and the other plane, this one, never even showed up on my traffic TCAS over here. So he's not any kind of a threat at all. There he is. He just showed up, but he's seven. Seven zero zero November. It's an additional ten degrees. Seven thousand feet above us. Right zero seven. So that's why he's he. It, you know, sometimes I don't even show them up if they're not relevant to our flight path, you know.
All good. All right, 12 minutes to Retha. Still haven't got the ATIS. Do what? I still haven't got the ATIS, the weather there. They're only 30 miles away, but... We'll fly 1157, Sprint Code 3018. Advised with weather note that Sprint Code. We're not high enough to reach. I don't know if it'll help. Just the way I, I think it's reflecting off the. It's coming in one and then. It looks like it's reflecting off the tip of the off wing the over there. Just reflecting. Coming right seven, in seven, Zulu X ray, sprinkling up there. Seven, seven, Zulu X ray, sprinkling up there. Chalkmeter 3018 at Springfield Information Lima Current Advice with the weather. We'll advise when we have the weather, 018 on the altimeter, 72 X ray. Looks like a pretty thin layer of clouds, though. Oh, yeah. Thousand feet above the ground. But if I was not IFR rated, I wouldn't be able to get under that. Got to maintain 500 feet separation, which would put you 500 feet above the, above the earth. That's a little close to be scud running. Over 3511, or correction, 3581, depart spoke, heading 250 for traffic. Power depart spoke, on a heading of 250, and uh, we'll keep going down to 10,000 on way 3581. camera? Yeah, it's this one that I'm watching here. It's right underneath the wing over here. Why are you watching it? Just make sure it stays connected and keeps recording because the last one would record like 12 seconds and I'd get in the plane and then it would stop. It did that like six times in a row. I don't know what the heck's wrong with it. I updated the firmware, rebooted it, formatted the drive, formatted the disk. Nothing fixed it. But it was a really old Really old one. Oh. This is a version 12. 770 X ray has Lima. Uh, this one and the new one are a version 9, and that was a version 7. So it's just old, I guess. I don't know. Weird. And uh, just confirming that you want us on a heading of 250 for Envoy 3581. Envoy 3581, April Perfect, thank you. Uh, Springfield Coach, Cirrus, uh, 6 1 Charlie Brown, well, the plane, 3 uh, miles the tip, west one of Ava, leveling off 3500 for another VOR, Alpha Pro, this one here, uh, with a miss. Which shows the, uh, it shows the out the front window. Charlie Brown, right, QB far, you are radar contact. And this one and records our pretty faces. Missed approach, is the approach. Uh, VFR, standard missed, 1 Charlie Brown. Fly 1157, roger. Radio service terminates, clock maintain, V4 change to advisor. Fuel switch. Here's here, November. Thanks for the help. Proceed on course. There we go. Now I can see it. 340 at 11, visibility 8, ceiling 1000, overcast, temperature 6, 2.3, altimeter 3017. On app runway 32, approach in use, Springfield Vortec out of service. Hey, advice this contact, you have Lima. Fieldjet 316, Springfield approach, altimeter 3018, permission Lima current, uh, expect runway 2, to center maintain 6000. Alright, 18 down to 6000, we'll expect 2. Fieldjet 316, thank you. Over 3581, turn left, direct, razor back, VOR. All right, Trick, Razorback VOR on by 3581. Silver 2A1, contact uh, Kansas City Center now, 128.6. Good day. Springfield Approach, 507, Romeo Whiskey, information Lima. Yes, Springfield Approach, 2281, uh, contact approach. Thank you. Springfield 
Frequency for, you say again, frequency for uh, November 6th. Clouds are almost gray in color. They almost look like smoke. 7281, uh, Kansas City, 7128.6. thicker on your side. Oh, yeah. Barely well, anything on mine. Yeah, all the clouds are over this way, but that's where we're going. So. Right. Are you saying it's uh, 28.6? 26. Four twenty eight six, thank you, sir. Killjet three sixteen flighting three three zero vector for the RNAV runway two. Heading three three zero for vector killjet three sixteen. Number seven Romeo Whiskey, the center maintain three thousand. Three thousand, seven Romeo Whiskey. Checklist. Oxygen set, altimeter set, next light on. Power levers required, mixture's good. Seven Zulu X ray, what's your interest okay. into uh, downtown airport? Seven Zulu X ray, we'll we'll position. Mixture Zulu X ray, Roger, would you like the RNF Bravo or Alpha? Currently on uh, autopilot. Like the, uh, the, the visual for 2 9, please. Over 7 Zulu X ray, expect the visual approach. We'll expect the visual for two hours a bit. to uh, downtown 7 Zulu X-ray. 525 Hotel Delta checking on 3000, climbing 5000. Runway heading in. Tops are right at uh, 3000. Over 525 Hotel Delta, Springfield departure, rudder contact, climbing team 14000, and uh, passing 5000 left on course. 14000 out of 5000 on course, 5 Hotel Delta. Five hotel delta. What, did you say the bases are at three thousand? Uh, I don't remember the bases. Uh, whatever your radius said, I think is about right. The tops were three thousand. Pretty clear, but we're going to be scooting right across the top of it. <laughs> He's bringing us around to three thousand. On board thirty-five eighty-one, contact raise back first one two six point six. I can see. I woke 126. up at like I don't have my contacts in. Yeah, let's get them, put them in. I have to put my contacts in. I'll be blind as a bat tomorrow. Miss one day, it really affects you that much, huh? Oh, yeah. Seven Romeo Whiskey, best forward airspeed, uh, have a jet coming in behind. All right, I'll give you a little more. Seven Romeo Whiskey, thanks. Number five, Hotel Delta, climbing team one five thousand. Climb one five thousand, five Hotel Delta. Yeah, he's like, speed it up, dude. Basically. Still just 316 turn, uh, right over, still here, but he's 7,000 feet up. I turn left down to 6,000, still just 316. Uh, Got him? Yeah, right there. Right up here somewhere, I don't see him. Did you speed up? I did. November 5, Hotel Delta, you can contact the center now, 128.6. 28-6-5 Hotel Delta. Have a great day. Good day, sir. You know, I'm 8-9-7 Julia Hotel, Springfield approach. Uh, clear to Memphis Airport as filed. On departure, maintain 5,000. Expect flight level 33010 minutes after departure. Departure frequency is 124.95. Block 11. He would just have to adjust everybody else landing and stuff. <clears throat> but if I can control a Bravo procedure turn and go a little faster, give him a little more, I will. Right. Number seven, Julia Hotel, Roger. So why were you going that fast to begin with? 
Number no. 7, Romeo Whiskey, cross Sritha at 3,000 cleared, on nav straight in runway 32. Cross Sritha at 3,000 cleared, on nav 32, 7 runway whiskey, thanks. Kill Jet 316, start following back here, uh, following a series. Alright, we'll slow it down, Kill Jet 316. Yeah, he just... One Charlie Bravo, roger, no uh, traffic observer. The airliner just said, okay, we'll slow it down. Your... Over to advisory, roger. One Charlie Bravo. Seven from Reserve here, November, contact Memphis Center, one two six twenty five. 2685 for zero, Sierra Alright, 3.6 miles to the turn. Our next heading will be 319. Quick to departure, Ozark 440, flying runway heading. Let's get 440, spring All right, field, turn in one departure, minute. right of contact. Maintain 5,000 left heading uh, 230 record on course. 230 record on course, maintain 5,000. Roger, for 40. Clouds. Yeah, we'll go in these probably as we start our turn. Two miles. They look really great, like you said. Yeah, it could mean there's moisture. It could mean there's moisture. Well, it could mean there's moisture in them if they're kind of that color. Turn coming up. April is at 2,900, so I want to go down 100 feet. So we've got 316, turn red, heading 350, standby for clearance. All right, 350, still jet 316. Still jet 316, intercept the uh, approach there. And we'll intercept, still jet 316. Tito, heat required. Still jet 316, uh, just to confirm, this is for the ILS, correct? Uh, they give us the RNAV uh, 2, or uh, 316. Still jet 316, thank you. Uh, intercept the uh, RNAV on this heading. All right, we'll intercept the RNAV on this heading, so the 316. Because it's 41 degrees and we're going through moisture, so... Field approach, Sierra 770XA would like to request the uh, the GPS B approach into downtown. Was this a uh, November 7 Zulu X-ray? Uh, yes, uh, 7 Zulu X-ray, uh, GPS B beginning at E2. November 7 Zulu X-ray, roger, turn right, heading 065, vector to E2. Right, zero six five uh, for E two seven zero X ray. All right, mixture's going full. Boost pump is on. We're three point three miles from from the final approach fix. Still jet three sixteen. This is to maintain three thousand. Maintain three thousand. Still jet three sixteen. Go ahead and get our first set of flaps and our approach flaps. When we hit glide Two seven Remy Whiskey, keep your speed up till five mile final contact the tower now. One one nine point nine. Keep speed up over the tower. Seven Remy Whiskey, thanks. Springfield Tower five zero seven Romeo Whiskey two point two to April RNAV three two. Sure, five zero seven Romeo Whiskey Springfield Tower three two cleared to land. Wind three six zero at nine. Clear to land. Seven Remy Whiskey, thanks. All right, one point seven. Miles, right in the cloud layer at 2,900. Looks like at 3,000 is the tops. So I want to find out what the bottoms are. It should be about 2,700. Because he was asking that question earlier, that airliner and the airliner didn't know. No ice on the wings. 36 degrees though. Did you start the fluid? No. Yeah. I don't see any icing forming at all. And... No, I don't see any. All right, 10 seconds to intercept. Slow down a little bit now that we're on glide path. And glide path is captured. There we go.
Now let's see where we pop out of the clouds. What altitude here? All right. Twenty-eight. No ground contact yet. Twenty-seven. No ground contact. I see ground. Twenty-six. Well, we got to see in front of us. When we can see in front of us, that's when you pop out, essentially. Oh. I see ground as well, I just don't see in front yet. There's ground. There it is, 2,500, so four, basically 500 feet of, of uh, tower tops are 3,000, bases are 2,500, seven Romanovsky. 3,000 to 25, thank you. There's our runway. He asked me to keep my speed up, so I'm trying to do that. A little different over here. I mean, it's sunny and bright and beautiful. At home, yeah. Nothing like that here. A bit gray and dreary. That's why they always say it's sunny somewhere. Usually above the clouds. Yep. Always above the clouds. Whiskey will be going over to Midwest as well. Brown, just think. Uh, 121.9. 500. All right, full flaps. Boy, you can really feel the lift it creates. Yeah. Heat is off. Tower, good morning. Steeljet 316, RNF 2. Steeljet 316, good morning. Springfield Tower, runway 2. Clear to land, wind 02013. Traffic will be departing runway 32, Friday route. All right, then clear to land, number, uh, clear to land runway 2, Steeljet 316. Is that American? Yep. Yeah, he's going to go around boy 34, he's going to get five, him out of the runway 32, ready to go. Streamfield Tower, runway 32, line up and wait. Line up and wait, runway 32, on voice at 495. You gotta wait for the other jet to land. Now he's gonna get this guy out behind us. So I'm gonna try and get off the runway. Sierra 7, Romeo Whiskey, right at Foxtrot, and uh, contact ground off. Right on Fox side over the ground, some room whiskey, thanks. Ground, Cirrus 507 Romeo Whiskey. We're exiting 32 on Foxtrot, going to Midwest. Sir Romeo Whiskey, Roger, be Delta November, cross runway 2 at Delta. Correction, hold short runway 2 at Delta. Delta November, hold short runway 2 at Delta, some room whiskey. Gotta hold short here? No, down here by the runway. Oh. Yeah, he's getting that jet out before um, the other guy lands. The other guy's coming in on the same landing we just did. So he's going to get this guy out. That's why he said line up and wait. So he got him on the runway while we were still taxiing. And you should see the, the other jet pop out of the clouds here before uh -huh. too long. Where that one's going. Oh. Envoy 3495. We have to wait here. I gotta wait before that runway right there where those yellow flashing lights are.
like they wouldn't want us to wait in the middle of this. Well, someone may be landing on runway two. I thought I heard that earlier. Yeah. Well, what's this, though? This is taxiway. The, uh, the runway's in front of us. Right, yeah. Let's Southern Roman Whiskey holding short runway two. Yeah, somebody's there. coming in. See him. Who's that? Southern Roman Whiskey holding short at Delta, runway two. Yeah, that's the guy right there. It's weird, there's one landing here and one landing over here, I think, too. Because there's a guy coming in on 3-2 that we just landed on. Right. Busy, busy, busy here. Oh, there's a vision jet over there. Oh, yeah. Might be a Learjet. Yeah, his lights on. I didn't think American did, and I, we don't, do we? Yeah, I had my lights on. Oh, you did? I didn't think American did. That looks like a Lear 45. What are you playing? Seven Romeo Whiskey, cross runway two at Delta, left on November. Cross two at Delta, left November, seven Romeo Whiskey. Ground truck A. I still haven't seen the plane come in. I haven't either. I think they had a temperature inversion. Truck A, right ground. It's 44 degrees. Truck A's here. here at the lighting vault. Can I have you bring up all airfield lighting for lighting? 36 test? in the clouds. I'll uh, pass the message. But up higher at 5,000 feet, it was in the 40s. I think that's why there's clouds here because there's a temperature inversion layer. All those American planes just sitting. Are they just sitting there for parts? I don't know. Truck 8's lighting forever. test is complete and lights are back in your control. Truck 8, thank you. Because they don't look like they're in great condition. They're not. That paint's faded on them and everything. Really... All right, how much fuel we got left? 81 gallons, we're good. We only used 10 gallons. Big UPS and FedEx planes over there. Yep. FedEx looks new. Job's bright. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> that plane looks old, and it's got it's some really paint. old. Yeah, they're working on it. Got the engine running. Right, but it's got the tug attached to it. Power cart attached on the other side. They're working on the engine. Yeah, it's all. On it looks really old. Not sure I'd get in that one. <laughs> I don't think so, huh? Uh, uh, pass. <laughs> <laughs> 